Today I'm sharing a math update and I'm also going to have an exciting giveaway. I will talk more about that at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to hear more all about the giveaway. Can't wait to share. If you've been around here for a while, at least since last school year, you probably saw, because I talked about it in multiple videos, that we kind of struggled with finding um, a right fit for math last year, specifically towards the later half of the of the year. And let me tell you, I'm a researcher and I researched and researched and just did all the things, all the homework, <laughs> looking up YouTube videos, samples, all of that. I came across several and we even tried a few different maths and they just didn't work for us. And finally, closer towards the end of the year, I came across something that fit and has just been really great ever since ever from the beginning from the get-go and I've heard about this math for years and sometimes you hear about curriculum and then you're like oh, I don't think that'll work right now and so you kind of put it on the back burner I've had that happen multiple times and then I come back a few years later so circle back to it and it's like oh I think this will fit for us right now for what we need so that was the case for us and so it's been working really well kind of a spoiler alert we're really loving it this curriculum checks all my boxes and if you've been homeschooling for any length of time a year two three you have probably heard of it before and i'm sure many of you use it uh, but today i'm talking about teaching textbooks it is a math curriculum that my girls are really doing well in. So my older two are doing teaching textbooks. They are in fourth grade and sixth grade. My younger one wants to do it, but she's only in second grade. So it goes from level three all the way up through high school. Now I'm gonna share reasons why I like it and then reasons why they love it. And it's actually the reasons why they love it is not what I was expecting. So the first thing is before you have to commit to purchasing an entire curriculum. I know that a lot of us spend so much money on curriculum for multiple kids and if it doesn't work, it's kind of like, you know, it, it hurts a little bit. It's a, it's a really painful when it doesn't work out and you're just like, oh my goodness, I just wasted all that money. So they recommend taking an assessment to see how your child does. It's a pretty thorough assessment and um, it'll place them on a grade level. And then on top of that, they give you a 15 lesson free trial for any grade that you want to go into. So if your child tests into level five, you can get a level five, 15 lessons absolutely for free. And it's not 15 days. It's not like three weeks worth of of material and then it's done. It's however long it takes for them to do 15 lessons. So let's say you really like the lessons and uh, your child does, you wanna commit, you wanna stick with it, you purchase it. Those 15 lessons that have been done as the free trial, those count towards the course. So they're not gonna start all the way back from the beginning. They will pick up right at lesson 16 and then go from there. But let's say for example, you purchase level five, you feel like that's a good, good way to start and you purchase it and it doesn't turn out you know you're a little bit into the school year and you realize this isn't working or you need a different level they have a really good return policy they give you even 30 days afterwards of a full refund which i think most companies don't really do that now the big thing for me this is probably the biggest thing that i like about it is that it is all online all the teaching is done for you. All the grading and checking of work is done for you. I don't know about you, but like, honestly, you guys, that is one of my biggest struggles. I do check all of my kids' work, but it's not daily. And then when it gets backed up, you have so much, it just literally piled. Like I have stuff back there. This just piled on top of each other because it's been a couple days. And um, especially if you have multiple children. And so this does all the grading for you. The child knows immediately what they get wrong. And then it sends you an email as the parent every single day with the grade that they got on their uh, lesson and then with their overall grade. So you can see how they're doing in the class. And it also, you have a parent like parent portal section part of it. And in that parent portal section, you can view the grade book, you can view the answer key, you can like delete lessons or questions. So for example, the other day, my daughter came to me and she's like, mom, I got it. 83 on my math lesson and I really don't wanna do, can I retake it or is there anything I could do? So I just deleted it 
and she redid the lesson and she got a 100%. And so if you're, you know, you or your child is not satisfied or you're like, you want a certain percentage, they have to do a certain amount right in the lesson, then you can, you as the parent can allow them to redo problems or redo the whole lesson. Or you don't have to put a huge emphasis on the grades. I know a lot of homeschoolers like that they don't have grades. That can be as little or as big of an emphasis as you want. My daughters like to see how they're doing, um, but it's not like something that's always hanging over their head. Another aspect of the parent portal, which I'll talk about more in just a second, is that you can pause the course if you need to pause the course. Another thing that you can do is if you are traveling a lot, you know, going through for co-op or you know different activities or you just don't always have the best internet and you're a little bit worried about that it downloads once you get internet um, you do have to have that initially and uh, once you have that it will download six lessons at a time and so you can work on those your child can work on those offline if you're not doing the teaching it is done for you the grading all of it's done for you what happens if your child is just not getting it right they offer free tutoring for any course. I feel like this is so generous and just so different from any other math that I have seen personally. And so it's free tutoring. It's one-on-one -on -one instruction until they understand the concept, which is amazing. Next thing is that I like about it is the price. I am a budget girl. <laughs> I think most of us probably are on some sort of a budget. It's really well priced and they have homeschool families in mind. So if you have four to eight children, the price will cap off at around a little over $200 for all of the children. So like I said, if you have even eight children, it's not going to keep incrementally increasing the rate. They want to keep homeschools and budgets in mind. Hang with me. <laughs> There's a long list. So another thing I like about it, I have all my notes of everything that I am enjoying about this curriculum so far. So you have two attempts for a question. So if you get the question wrong the first time, it's not marked wrong, they give you another chance. And I mentioned pausing the course. So you have access to the course for 12 solid months. But let's say you, you know, you start the course in April and then you know that you're going to have a summer break or you have something planned or like an unexpected illness or move or something comes up where you need to take an extended break. They can let you pause the course for up to three months and that won't count as part of the 12 months. You can pick it up from wherever you paused it. So you can pause as little as seven days all the way up to three months and it won't count against the time that you have. So again, you have those 12 months. Another thing is that you can choose when you wanna start the course. So they don't tell you, hey, courses start September 1st or whenever, or you purchased it today so the clock is ticking today. You can tell them your date that you wanna start or anticipate starting and um, they won't start that clock, that 12 months until until that date. And then lastly, I like that it is, again, it's online, but it's with that comes, there's not a bunch of books. You just have limited space. Like we've cut down on our homeschool space a lot this year. It's less books, less things to keep up with, less paperwork, just one less thing. It's all online for you, which I think is great because um, you can't lose it. As long as you keep your login, uh, you're not gonna lose any of the information. You even have access to their grades from years back, so you're able to see that. Okay, so what my children love about it. These are some things I thought they would love about it, but what they actually loved was a lot different than what I anticipated. So I thought that they would like that it's online because it's screen time. The lessons are short. I thought that they would like that. They do, but this is not anything that they mentioned. The lessons are really short. They're thorough, but they're, you're not sitting there for an hour. Um, and then they have five practice questions and then about 20 questions that are part of the actual lesson. The actual graded questions are 20 questions. So they're not sitting there. My kids aren't sitting there for hours and hours, tears running down their eyes, you know, crying that, um, that it's, that they're overwhelmed and that there's just too much going on. And the reason for that is because it is fun. And I know that in life, we can't always make everything fun. I totally understand that. And there's just things that we have to do, right? Math is one of those things that we have to do, but if there is an option to keep it fun, 
why not, right? And so they have really been enjoying it. It's very, very interactive. They're able to choose their own different wallpaper and there's these little cartoon, they call them buddies, that they're able to have along with it. And it's just fun and lighthearted and it almost, almost feels like a game. Little details, like it congratulates them and it has like a funny little picture of like a cat eating a taco or something silly like that. I just think that those little details go a long way in keeping it, keeping their mind off of like, oh yeah, this isn't, this doesn't have to be a chore. This doesn't have to be something that's miserable or something that we dread. They've definitely looked forward to math. I have not heard any complaints, not once, not like, oh, math, like, okay, math. And as much as they liked math before with old previous curriculum, they've never been this excited about doing math before. And I think that that says something and they're still learning on top of it, which is obviously the most important part. So those last few things are things that I know my daughters appreciate, but they are actually still not what exactly they'd said. And when I asked them, what do you really love about it? So for one of my daughters, her first thing was she liked that they showed you how to do the answer because she's like, whenever I get something wrong, I'm always sure I did it right. And I wanna know why I did it wrong and what step I went wrong. So she really loved that they show that you can see feedback immediately. You're not waiting for mom like three days later to grade your, to grade it and see what you've done wrong. And like, you've already forgotten about, about it. You see right away. So she really liked that. And then my other daughter said that she likes how it's things are taught in a different way. She's like, some of the stuff I've learned already, but I'm learning it in a different and new way. And it helps me to solve the problem in a new way. And I really like that. And my other daughter heard that both of them agreed that they, that they like that. They were like, oh, we've never thought of it that way. And so I'm always for different approaches and giving children multiple ways to figure things out since we're not, our brains don't always operate the same way. And so if it's showing them some ways that they think they know, but then it's a new way of looking at it. And to me, it's a sign that it's getting their wheels turning and their brain in gear. Here's what all the answers of multiplications by three in the multiplication facts have in common. If you go through all these answers all the way up to 12 times three, you'll see that the digits of the answers always add up to either three, six, or nine. And that's a pretty good rule for remembering these facts. For instance, what if- So here she's on just the practice C, um, one of her practice problems, and she doesn't quite remember. Uh, for, so for here it says taught in lesson 44. So she can either go back to lesson 44 and look at the, um, the lesson, or there's a hint here she can get a hint. Don't get bothered by the 27 having two digits. You do this problem the same way you would when multiplying a single digit number by 10. Okay, so she can get a hint and if that still doesn't work, you can go back and go back to lesson 44, view the lesson and then go that way. So it's always gonna tell you where the lesson is if they can't remember. So that is kind of our experience so far with how things are going with teaching textbooks. Um, we are enjoying it, you guys. It has been such a burden lifted. You can't even know <laughs> that they're not only learning, they're enjoying it and it's not something that I, I'm not trying to be lazy, but like with, with four kids, a baby, uh, you know, it's just one less thing that I have to worry about. And it's been lovely, like truly lovely. So anyway, let's talk about the giveaway. If you're still around, hopefully you're really interested still in teaching textbooks and maybe you want to give it a try for yourself. So the giveaway is a free year course for one child in your family. I do have a link that you can click on. I'll leave that down below um, and you can do a free trial. You can enter that way. So the free trial is highly recommended, but it's definitely not a total requirement for you to be entered into the giveaway. Although I will say if you do the free trial, come back and leave a comment so that you, you can be entered. To officially enter the giveaway, just leave a comment on this video with your favorite emoji and like this video. Very simple, very, very easy. I'll contact the winner on October 6th. So remember just to 
leave a comment with your favorite emoji, like this video, and I wish you all the best of luck. I really hope you can check out teaching textbooks. I hope it's something that you would consider um, because if, especially if it's something that you've been looking for, you just can't find quite the right fit with math. Um, hopefully this is something that you would, that would work for you and your family. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.